Spearfishing is a sport like no other. Taking your dives one breath at a time, feeling the contractions, feeling the water pressure. And yet, while all of this is going on, you have to remain calm, relaxed. You begin to develop a deep respect for the ocean and its life. From a top predator like a sandbar shark, to a small fish that feeds on algae like the queen angel. Each organism has its place in the system and we have found ours. Spearfishing has many great advantages when compared to traditional fishing methods. We have no bycatch. We can see our target before we attempt to catch it. We do not take fish that are too small or out of season. We take and give to the ocean. We clean up the reefs that we hunt to better preserve them. And we try our hardest to avoid losing a fish. When a fish tears off, it affects spiros differently. Losing a fish doesn't simply mean that this fish now has a hook in its mouth that will eventually rust out. It means that they have now been injured and will most likely die. We take extra care in our shot placements. We hunt, stalk, and wait for a good shot to present itself. When a fish tears off, you float there, wondering what you could have done differently. You start to think, do I need to tune the flopper on the spear shaft? Was the shot too far? Should I have waited an extra second to pull the trigger? And after you have more than one fish tear off, you start to wonder, is my aim just that bad? You adjust, try things differently. Focus on what you know you need to do. And when it all comes together, you find the peace in the chaos and you take that shot.
hope you enjoy the segment of that video. Uh, we just want to do something a little bit different and kind of talk about how losing a fish while free diving and spear fishing can affect you a little bit more. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about now is some of the dives that we did uh, end up getting the fish on after we kind of adjusted some things. That was at the first spot that we went to. And after we moved that first spot to the second spot, everything just went so great. You know, we didn't lose any fish at the second spot. We all kind of adjusted it. We all got into a better mindset and everything and the dives were better. So on this one, David had been using his pole spear the whole day and he's using a, uh, an aritic bantam roller pole spear. And he had it set up for about, I think 12 feet with a slip tip. David had uh, seen a couple fish in the surface and he wanted to take the dive down and kind of check them out and, and look at the flasher. And uh, David goes down and as he's swimming down, he spots the sheep head that he wants. So he stops kicking and kind of goes into a premature sink phase just so that way he can sneak up closer on this fish. And if you watch it, this, this shot is such a long shot. I mean, he, he's pushing the, the range of this pole spear in this configuration with this shot. And it was a beautiful shot placement. And we went back and watched the video afterwards and we were all amazed at how long of a shot, but he was still able to get this fish. So on this dive, I followed Bennett down and Bennett was the one that had had those, uh, all those mangroves tear off. So he was really, really determined to get a good mangrove. And so on the boat on the way over, we kind of looked at his gun and made sure that his flopper was a little bit, a little bit more tuned. We didn't have a hammer on the boat, so we did what we could do. But uh, he was taking dive after dive and finally he spotted a mangrove that he thought that he could get a good shot on. So as he goes down and grabs the structure and kind of looks around, and moves over closer to it and just lines up a nice shot and he puts a good solid shot into it and you can see he's a lot more confident in this one as he's pulling it towards him he's not trying to play it or anything like that he's he knows that he can get this fish in after we had messed with the, uh, the flopper on the boat on the way over there so he's a lot more confident on this he he really needed this he was very very happy to be able to get this fish after losing all those other ones 